Yes, we're very excited about the announcement of our uh, joint venture, the joint venture between MMI and MTN. Uh, the joint venture uh, is called AYO, which means joy. And in fact, uh, these two groups are joining forces uh, to roll out insurance products in the African continent. We will be starting uh, with the launch of products in Uganda very soon. And clearly what I guess we bring to the table is, uh, from an MMI perspective, we bring our licenses and insurance expertise and insurance systems, whereas MTN clearly have the mobile platform, you know, the digital capabilities, um, and, 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 and certainly a lot of know-how on the African continent. So very exciting. So we'll start in one country, and then as we learn, we'll roll it out to other countries. Uh, what we are talking about is, is really launching products, you know, that are, where premiums are quite small, to the lower end of the, of, of the market, you know, clearly where a lot of people have mobile phones. So this initiative is, is more based on high volumes and smaller margins rather than the traditional insurance, which is like bigger premiums uh, distributed through agents. So it's, it's quite a disruptive uh, initiative, really uh, leveraging the mobile awareness and the mobile penetration of the African continent. This initiative is certainly complementary to what we're already doing on the African continent. Uh, in, in Africa, we have more dis uh, traditional distribution channels, especially the SADC countries, you know, where we distribute traditional insurance products like funeral and savings products through agents or brokers. And in fact, in that traditional channel, we had a lot of success over the past year. Our new business volumes grew by 19%. Uh, this initiative with, with MTN will really hopefully access a different customer in a different way. So it's complementary, it's almost over and above what we do in the traditional space and hopefully over time that will uh, you know, give us a good uh, generation of value. Yes, uh, the, uh, your initiative is a 50-50 joint venture between MMI and, and, and MTN. <coughs> so there is actually a small team working for the joint venture and you know as the initiative progresses more people will be appointed and and both parties will i guess fund their percentage their 50 percent of the initial startup losses we are not talking about huge investments initially because both parties have a lot of scale you know mtn already have the, have the scale with their mobile network uh, mmi also has the scale you know, with licenses in many different places and also using existing insurance systems. So we just customize those systems a little bit. It's not uh, uh, starting something totally from scratch and therefore the funding will not be big, but it will take a couple of years before this initiative becomes profitable. Yeah, at this stage, you know, there are no public numbers. I think as we learn and we make progress, we you know, will be sharing the results of IO separately uh, with, with the market. But it's fair to say it's not a highly capital intensive initiative. Quite, quite low from a capital requirement point of view. Yeah, we have identified uh, six countries uh, you know, where you know, th this initiative will be rolled out over, over time. But we intend to start in Uganda and then learn and change. You know, as with... Uh, with other disruptive innovation initiatives, you need to, you know, adapt your model uh, very proactively and, you know, and, and, and review and change again and so forth. And we rather want to, I guess, make some initial successes and only then roll out to, to, to more countries so that we don't complicate the, the, the initiative. But, but if it works well and we, we get a model that works and you know, we get the penetration, clearly, you know, I guess the six countries will be on the radar, and then over time, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll see where that takes us. Clearly, MTN's uh, footprint is much broader. Uh, MMI has a footprint in uh, 12 countries outside South Africa on the African continent. MMI's got a, oh, sorry, MTN has got a, a far broader uh, footprint, but, but, you know, those are opportunities for the future.